Using this sheet for the colors of inorganic ions and complexes from the OCR website, I'm going to showcase all the different reactions and formula you need to know for manganese and iron. First up, we have the pale green hexa-aqua iron 2 complex ion. We draw this in the octahedral three-dimensional shape, with the water molecules acting as ligands and forming dative covalent bonds to the iron 2 ion in the center. Here we have our first precipitation reaction. The iron 2 ion from before will react in this ionic equation with some dropwise NaOH represented by the OH minus aqueous in the equation to form a dark green precipitate. There's no further reaction here if we use excess OH minus like with some of the ions on this table. Moving on to the iron 3 ion for a bit, and we can see another hexa-aqua complex iron for this yellow solution, but this time I'm showing the waters a little differently to demonstrate another way we can represent them. Otherwise, it's largely the same, with the obvious change in the charge. Next up, very similar to the precipitation reaction for the iron 2 ion, in this ionic equation we see the iron 3 ion forming another hydroxide precipitate here when dropwise sodium hydroxide is added. We can see here that the OH- is once again representing this sodium hydroxide to make this orange-brown precipitate. And again, there's no second stage, should we use excess sodium hydroxide, this is as far as we can go. In the middle of the page now, we have the manganese. I'm not going to draw out the pink hexa-aqua complex ion here, as it's just the same as the ion-ion versions we've been looking at, but with the obvious adjustment of using manganese in the middle. It's octahedral, just like before, with water ligands. The ionic equation for the precipitation reaction is also very similar. Keep an eye on your state symbols, but here, once again, we're using dropwise sodium hydroxide, which is represented by the OH- ion in the equation, to create a pale brown precipitate of manganese 2 hydroxide, sometimes called a buff precipitate. In the bottom section here, we finally have the redox reactions. We see both of these in the interconversion between iron 2 and iron 3 using redox reactions section of the specification. This first one using manganate 7 is widely used as a redox titration. The overall equation is assembled from the two half equations that you can see me drawing on screen now, which I do recommend you learn by heart, but you should also be able to assemble them correctly knowing that acidic conditions are used, and I've got a tutorial for that which I'll drop in the video description. In this overall equation, the iron 2 is oxidized to iron 3, and the manganese is reduced from a plus 7 oxidation state in the MnO4- minus to a plus 2 oxidation state represented by the Mn2 plus ion. The second redox reaction here is focusing on iron 3 being reduced to iron 2 using iodide ions, likely from potassium iodide solution. Again, it uses half equations, but they're much simpler and require no mention of acidic conditions. Again, I'd expect you to be able to assemble these half equations and then combine them using your knowledge of the redox topic in the second year of the OCRA A-level in chemistry. Thank you very, very much for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, then please make sure you give this video a like before you go. And if you'd like me to do the same for the other inorganic ions on this sheet, then please make sure that you do leave that like. And I'll leave a link to this sheet in the video description alongside some other videos and my full catalogue of content for you to peruse ahead of your chemistry exams in the summer. Again, thanks very much for watching. And until next time, happy revising.